guys, so I have a review and demo for you. You can read the title, you know that probably. Um, on the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Chisel to Perfection Contour Kit. It's vegan, it's cruelty free, I just put it on my face. Continue to watch if you would like to hear my random thoughts on it. So as usual with any Too Faced things, you get a little booklet which tells you where to put the relevant goodies for whichever look you want. But you know what, I like to uh, make my own rules. So inside you've got your little mirror and then there are four shades of contour and highlight. And you have a little, don't they say that their brushes are made of like teddy bear fur or something? Anyway, synthetic brush. And I don't usually keep the brushes that come in stuff like this, but I will try it out. So if I'm not mistaken, I think that these are brand new colors. So they're not something that you can buy separately or already are available. So you've got one matte highlight shade, you've got two darker shades, I would say this is probably for contour and this is for bronze or for warmer skin tones to contour, and then you have a shimmery highlight. So just for a size comparison, this is the Anastasia Contour Kit and this is the Coco Contour. So it's a little bit smaller, not much in it, but it's thicker. You get five grams of each color in this one and you get three grams of color in this one, I believe. Um, I did just let the mirror go and it's done this, so maybe keep that in mind. So just to compare the shades, obviously the Too Faced one doesn't have a yellow kind of banana shade, but these two are fairly similar. This is a little bit um, more golden and warmer, um, and then these are pretty similar. This might be a tiny bit lighter. And then the Medium Cocoa and the um, fawn color are fairly similar and then dark cocoa and Havana I think are relatively similar. And I'll put up a blog post to go with this with um, better pictures of everything so you can kind of compare and see if it's something that the colors might work for you. I'm gonna take my little teddy bear brush. So for this I'm gonna start with the light cocoa shade as a matte highlight. I'm gonna use that kind of around the eyes, down my nose a little bit and anywhere I want a matte brightening effect. So there is a slight sheen to this highlighter. I'm not sure how much of a sheen right now, but I guess I'll see throughout the day. So I'm gonna do this half of my face with this brush and then I'm gonna do the other half with some brushes I already have. So clearly I was wrong about that being a matte highlight shade. Um, there is a sheen to it, it's not like crazy. It's kind of similar to some of the Hourglass Ambient Light Powders I would say in that it is going to kind of mattify your skin, but also there is a kind of glisten to it. So I did use it under my eye, which maybe, um, I don't know that I would usually do with anything sparkly, but I actually do really like the finish. Yeah, the finish is very hard to explain. So next I'm gonna go in with the medium cocoa shade and just kind of contour my cheeks and around my giant forehead and see how that goes. I really, really like this shade. Um, the brush is even pretty good for this. I was surprised because I never really keep the brushes that come with these things. So this is obviously the contoured side and then this is the not side. I'm not under direct sunlight so you should be able to kind of get a good idea of the sides. So it was very easy to blend. I did set my foundation with a powder um, beforehand because I didn't want it to kind of go muddy so um, maybe that helped it a little bit but I really like it. It was very, very easy. So just to compare with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer in medium deep, I would say it's somewhere in between the two bronzer or contour shades in here because it is definitely warmer than the medium cocoa, but I don't think that it's quite as dark as the dark cocoa. So although that has given me quite a nice kind of bronzy, somewhere between a bronze and a contour color anyway, I am gonna try the dark cocoa shade as a little bit of a bronzer. So I'm pretty much going to put that around where I put the contour, but slightly above where the sun would hit. Again, it blended in really nicely. The finish is, I kind of think that all of them are not entirely matte. There is a slight kind of sheen to them, but it makes it look very, very natural. I don't know if that's just the light in here or what, but I really like it. And then lastly, there is the Shimmer Highlight, which is Pop of Light. Um, I did see a lot of people's other reviews saying that this was just way too glittery, so we'll see how it goes. I will say that this is definitely on the more glittery side to a kind of shimmer side, but I don't hate it. Um, if you don't like glitter at all, you probably won't like this, but it is very, very fine. 
So overall, um, using the brush that came with it, I do really like it. I really like the light cocoa. I like that it's a kind of slight sheeny shimmer finish to it. I wasn't expecting that. I did think it was matte. It kind of looked matte when I put it on my finger. But yeah, I really like that. I think if you need brightening around the eyes, that's going to be a really, really nice shade. I kind of think that the slight sheen to it is going to make it not look so stark and white. Somehow it kind of like diffuses it a little bit. So I really like light cocoa. Medium cocoa is a great um, contour shade. I think it will be good on a lot of different skin tones. It's so blendable. So I think even on very pale people, um, if they were kind of careful and just, you know, kept it exactly where they wanted it and really worked at blending it out, I think it would be really good. Dark Cocoa is a great bronzer. It might be a little bit too warm and bronzy for very fair skin, but that's fairly usual. If you are very fair and you do want a bronzer but you have a really hard time, I would suggest buying a um, pressed foundation that's a little bit darker. I did mention that um, in my last video about the... Inglot um, pressed powder shade, I think in 19 maybe. I should probably check that. This is just going to warm up your face a bit without being orange. So for the pale people out there, that's definitely an option. So yeah, I really like that. Pop of light. It is sparklier than I would usually pick, but I don't necessarily hate it. I almost think if you could kind of dampen it a little bit somehow, it might kind of press in a bit more because it did kind of just fall, I feel like, a little bit. So yeah, I'm going to do the same on the other side, but I'm going to use my own brushes. I'm taking light cocoa again. I'm going to use the Real Techniques 300 brush. This is from their Bold Metals collection. It just fits nicely around the eye. So this brush is a bit more dense and stiff than the one that comes with it, so I kind of think that the looser brush, like the one in the pack, is better for this, especially like around the eyes because it's not something that you're going to kind of pack on like some highlighters. I think it is more of a kind of, you know, swoosh. It's a swoosh product. I mean, it didn't not work. I just think it worked better with the brush that came with it. So going to Medium Cocoa, which is the contour shade, I'm going to take the 301 brush again from Real Techniques, which is just a dense contour brush, which a lot of people who are into their contour would have something along these lines. So again, a little bit of a denser brush than the one that comes with it. Um, I do think you could get a very chiseled out finish using something like this if that's what you're into. Um, I would say if you want it for kind of like day-to-day -day soft glow wear, then maybe use a finer brush like the one that comes with it. But this is going to give you a very nice uber chisel. So moving on to the bronzy shade, Dark Cocoa. I'm going to use the Cosette S130 brush, which is my favorite bronzer blush face powder, everything brush. So I think this one worked just as well as the brush that came with it because they are kind of a looser, um, looser packed bristles. This one was a little bit easier just because it was bigger and it's easier to get that kind of um, all over, here's my bronzer look. So um, I think either would be great for the bronzer. And then for Pop of Light, which is the shimmer highlight shade, I'm gonna use just a Morphe fan brush and see what happens. So it is definitely a glittery highlighter. Um, there was a little bit of fallout, but again, because it's fine glitter, it's not like you've just got chunks all over your face. I'm kind of wondering if that would be best to just press it in with your finger to be a bit more precise and kind of, I don't know. I just don't know that that works great with this brush, so. And lastly, the only other place I do like to highlight is kind of like the filtrum area. So I'm gonna take Light Cocoa again, the non-shimmer sheen shade on um, just on a Zoeva Petite Eye Blender and I'm going to do one of these. So overall I do really like it. I'm very surprised that the brush worked as well as it did. Um, so I think it would be good for travel because you have everything in here. I also think you could just get an everyday neutral eye with this too. So um, you know face and eyes are pretty much covered. I'm not the biggest fan of Pop of Light. Um, I just don't think that it kind of adheres to you as well. Maybe if you used a um, liquid foundation and didn't set it with powder, it might kind of stick where you put it better. Or you could try and um, dampen the brush before you put it on, maybe. Yeah, definitely a huge fan of these three. I think they're great. This is a really nice um, contour just because of how easily it blends. It didn't go muddy. And I really like this bronzer too. This top highlight, not at all what I expected when I first looked at it. I did think it was completely matte. 
um, but it does have that slight sheen. Again, like the Hourglass Ambient Light Powder is a similar kind of thing. I would say that I probably wouldn't put it here if you have kind of larger pores like I do there. I did that before I realized that it was shimmery, so I'm kind of bummed that this happened, but that's what happens with cardboard cases. I could just glue it back together probably with Gorilla Glue and it would be fine. I'll see um, how it wears throughout the day and I'll put that in my written review, which will be linked below also. So yeah, dig it so far, very much. So I think that's it. I'm um, sorry if this was a bit jumbled, but the kind of review and demo things usually are because it's just like blurting out your initial thoughts. But as I said, I will have the review link below. And yeah, very pleased, glad I got it. Not a huge fan of that one shimmer shade, but I'm gonna just play around with it, see what I can do with it. If you have any questions or things that you wanna tell me, then leave them below. And I'll see you next time, bye. And then, oh, just throw it. And I'm on about fifth or sixth day hair, so um, that's why this is happening.